we have a simple message for all countries. Test, test, test. Ramp up production capacity and availability of testing. Don't assume your community won't be affected. Prepare as if it will be. The WHO has had a singular message for the world for over a month. Do extensive testing to trace, identify and isolate infected clusters. But who is actually listening? South Korea has earned global phrase for going big on testing, which it did without wasting time or imposing a lockdown. The U.S., on the other hand, was slow to begin, but has now ramped up testing along with shutdowns. Interestingly, both these countries reported their first case on January the 20th. Experts say aggressive testing allows South Korea to track infected cases quickly and control the spread, while the United States' delayed response allowed the virus to spread for months. This could serve as a lesson for the rest of the world, especially for many Asian countries like India and Indonesia. Both these nations have a high population density, scarce medical resources, and poor access to health care. The pandemic-like situation in Italy, Spain, and the U.S. could be catastrophic in these countries. So are they learning from this global lesson? India, the world's second most populous country after China, was quick to conduct screenings at airports back in January. But since then, India has only been testing those who have traveled from affected countries or come in contact with a confirmed case. The problem is, despite a rising number of positive cases, the policy hasn't changed much. Like many other countries, India imposed a lockdown on March 24th. But the WHO says it's not enough. But on their own, these measures will not extinguish epidemics. As of March 27th, South Korea had tested just about 375,000 people, or 0.7 percent of its population. In comparison, the United States has still tested only about 0.2 percent. In the same period, India had conducted only around 27,600 tests, which translates to 0.002 percent of the population. Indonesia, too, suffers from the same problem. By March 23rd, it had conducted less than 3,000 tests in a country of 264 million, which is 0.001 percent of the total population. Many medical experts believe time is running out for these nations and worry their ill-equipped healthcare infrastructure is about to be tested.